Hey guys, Video James, and today we're going to be doing a kind of Hunger Games simulation. So I got this idea from a few other YouTubers, and it, they were old videos. They were really old videos. I was just scrolling through YouTube, looking for some of the old videos from 2015, 2014, to kind of see what there was and what there used to be. And I found this website, which is basically, you can put in your own characters from TV shows and cartoons and all that, and movies, and you can kind of make your own sort of Hunger Games. So... I thought that would be fun. It looked like fun in the videos I watched. So we're going to get in. And we're going to... You can all do this site, basically. You all just have to be over 13. And you have to know what you're doing, basically. And I'll explain what you have to do um, later at the end of the video. But for now, we're just going to get in and we're going to start this Hunger Games. Now, I personally don't really like the Hunger Games. But I like the idea of this. Just seeing all your characters go at it in the simulation of the Hunger Games and see who would come out on top. Um, I've played this twice now. I've tried this out twice last night just to see if it would work. I tried it once on my laptop and once on my Kindle and the Kindle doesn't really compare, the Kindle doesn't really work it with smartphone, smart pixel that well because smart pixel crashes when something has to reload a lot and this does in fact have to reload a lot. So we're just gonna go ahead and get in so we see, I don't really know if you can see that, but we see in District 1, we have the two Brothers of War, Bumblebee and Hot Rod. And then in District 2, we got the two Giant Primes. We got Optimus and Ultra Magnus. And then in District 3, we got the War Medics. We got Ratchet and Hound. And then in District 4, we have the Little Twins. We got Mudflap and Skids. And then District 5, the Ultimate Traitors. We got Sentinel Prime and Quintessa. I was going to put Nemesis Prime, but nah, Sentinel Prime better. And then we see in District 9, we got the Wave Brothers, we got Soundwave, and then we got Shockwave. Um, District 7, we have Crosshairs, that was really the only good picture of Crosshairs I could find. And we got Drift, we can see he's in that waterfall scene from TF4. And then we see we do District 8, we got the Dark of the Moon, Dark of the Moon team, we got Sideswipe and Ironhide. And then we see District 9, we have the Loyal Decepticons, we've got Megatron and Barricade. And then District 10, we have Starscream and the Fallen. And then District 11, we have the Animalistic Team, featuring Ravage and Scorponok. And then finally, in District 12, we got the Minibots, we got Wheelie, and we got Brains. And that's basically the lineup for this Hunger Games. So we're going to see what happens. Um, the way this is, is it loads it up like the actual Hunger Games, or it plays out a bunch of different scenarios, and it plays out differently every time you play. So we're just going to go ahead and get in. Um, proceed. Yes. That is what I like to do. There we go. As the tributes stand on their podium, the horn sounds. Barricade warns away from the cornucopia. Yeah, a lot of these repeat sometimes. So let's see. Barricade ran away. Ravage ran away. I would expect Ravage to run away. I wouldn't really think he could, like, grab a weapon or anything. And considering he's got two machine guns on his back, I wouldn't really think he would need to grab a weapon. Um, Skids runs away. Hound finds a bow, some arrows, and of course, Hound goes straight for a weapon. Crosshairs bashes the Fallen's head in with a mate. Crosshairs is the one you gotta watch out for in this. It seems like this thing favors Crosshairs for some reason. I don't know why. It just it seems like Crosshairs is favored. Um, Wheelie one runs away from the Cornucopia. Starscream runs away. When I played this last time, um, I had Wheelie in this last time as well. And he actually managed to kill three other bots with an explosive. Um, Starscream runs away from the Cornucopia. Ratchet grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Brains runs away, uh, Drift and Soundwave fight for a bag, Soundwave gives up and retreats, Megatron runs away, Scorponok, Mudflap, Ultra Magnus, and Hot Rod share everything they gathered before running. That's kind of a weird matchup. That's kind of weird. It's like three Autobots and then one animal Decepticon. Shockwave finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Bumblebee and Ironhide fight for a bag, Ironhide gives up and retreats. My boy, Bumblebee! Um... Based on the last games that I played of this, my money's on, um, I forgot who what, my money's on Ultra Magnus or Hot Rod. Optimus Prime scares Sentinel away from the Cornucopia. Quintessa runs away from the Cornucopia, of course, that little floating ghost mobile. And Sideswipe gathers as much food as he can. Okay, let us proceed. Day one of the Cybertron games. Brains makes a slingshot, Ultra Magnus constructs a shack... Ironhide injures himself. Well, of course, of course Ironhide would have to injure himself. Um, Skids receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Crosshairs stalks Hot Rod. Crosshairs, bad touch. 
Bad touch. Bad touch crosshairs. Um, Quintessa dies trying to escape the arena. Of course. This is the running little bit. Um, Wheelie and Bumblebee work together for the day. Yes. Wheelie and Bumblebee, my boys. Um, Hound stalks Optimus Prime, of course, because Hound is literally Optimus' is Yandere. Um, Mudflap hunts for other tributes. Shockwave is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Barricade and Sideswipe hunt for other tributes. Really? Barricade and Sideswipe? That's unlikely. Um, Soundwave sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. That's probably Quintessa's smoke and body. Uh, Starscream questions his sin- I think we're all questioning Starscream's sanity. I mean, let's be honest. If we're in the Hunger Games, we gotta start questioning sanity somewhere. Megatron and Drift split up the search for resources. Yeah, and this is the thing, too, is that a lot of the times, these phrases kind of don't really go together. Like, they'll have two pairings of characters and they won't really line up with the last round. Like, it'll be Megatron and Barricade were working together and then Barricade and Sideswipe and Megatron and Drift. And that kind of weirds me out a little bit. Ravage goes hunting, of course. Ah, no, go away. Uh, Scorponok hunts for other tributes, yes. Ratchet receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Ratchet's already getting freebies. Sentinel Prime camouflages himself in the bushes, uh, of course. He just waits for his time and then kills everything. Okay. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. The Fallen and Quintessa, of course. It's funny how the two biggest villains of this series already get knocked down, except for Megatron. Uh, proceed. Uh, Brains and Mudflap talk about the tributes still alive. Of course, Brains and Mudflap seem like a good combo. Uh, Soundwave looks at the night sky. Optimus severely injures Scorponok, leaving him to die. Okay, that's another dead one. Sideswipe and Hound talk about the other tributes still alive. Ravage and Barricade hold hands. Does does Ravage even have hands? The, the Ravage has, like, those claw blades. He doesn't really have hands. Sentinel Prime attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. I would I would think that after Dark of the Moon, Sentinel will be very adept at starting fires. Ironhide starts a fire. Well, there you go. Ironhide immediately started a fire. Starscream sees a fire, but stays hidden. Crosshairs throws a knife in a shockwave's head. See, I told you. Crosshairs is the one you gotta watch out for in this. Megatron tries to treat his infection. Yeah, see, what infection? It never told us about Megatron getting an infection. Hot Rod begs for Bumblebee to kill him. He refuses, keeping Hot Rod alive, of course, because they're freaking brothers. I would not expect Hot Rod or Bumblebee to kill the other. Uh, Skid screams for help. Um, Wheelie sets off an explosive, killing Drift and Ratchet. Yeah, see, Wheelie is like the pyrotechnic of this game. He kills everybody with one explosive. And Ultra Magnus passes out from exhaustion. I have a feeling Ultra Magnus is going to end up winning. Skids injures himself. Bumblebee chases Sideswipe. Um, I would think that Bumblebee would catch up to Sideswipe. I mean, he's got the speed. Brains travels to higher ground. Barricade reaches, or Barricade receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Crosshairs receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Hound receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Everyone's getting stuff from unknown sponsors. Uh, Sentinel and Wheelie threaten a double suicide. It fails and they both die. Of I would expect Wheelie to actually go out with a suicide. Because he's like the most unstable of all these guys. Soundwave tries to sleep through the entire day. Ravage makes a wooden spear. Okay, how? how? Okay, okay, tell me. How does Ravage make a wooden spear? Optimus Prime injures himself. Um, Mudflap chases Ultra Magnus. Starscream thinks about home. Hot Rod overhears Ironhide and Megatron talking in the distance. Okay. So, there's only like one death today. Well, no, more because of the nighttime. Yeah. Six cannon, six cannon shots. Okay, who actually died? Scorponok, Shockwave, Drift, Ratchet, Sentinel Prime, Wheelie, and nobody else. Okay. Hot Rod, Starscream, and Soundwave discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Yeah, see, this is what I like about this, this game. It's unlikely that any of these pairings would happen, but at the same time, it's kind of interesting to see what it comes up with. Uh, let's see who else. Sideswipe goes to sleep. Ultra Magnus convinces Mudflap to snuggle with him. Um, okay, hashtag robot love. Day three, Brains thinks about home, Hot Rod travels to higher ground. Smart, you always gonna go for the high ground. Optimus dies from hypothermia. Um, pardon moi, but what the hell? 
Optimus dies from hypothermia. Okay, first off, can robots even get hypothermia? I know they can get frost frostbite, but hypothermia? Hypothermia is what happens when you get in a cold water and you freeze from that. They're metal. Water wouldn't cold cold water wouldn't affect them. Mudflap receives an explosion from an unknown sponsor or explosive. Yeah, it, someone just sends an explosion down in the box and it's like doo -doo -doo, explosives. Let's see. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Optimus, barricade, sideswipe, and starscream. Okay. So basically all the wimps got killed. Well, I guess I should take that back. Sideswipe's not really a whip. Alright, let's see. Night three. Soundwave tries to treat his infection. Crosshairs passes out from exhaustion. Skids convinces Mudflaps to snuggle with him. That's incest right there. It smells like incest. It does. It's lovely. Hot Rod goes to sleep. Yeah, some of these are really generic when I'm looking at them. Ultra Magnus thinks about winning. Oh, that might be foreshadowing there, buddy. Ironhide quietly hums. Ravage receives an explosive from an unknown source. Okay, how would Ravage use an explosive? Just, like, carry it around in his mouth and be like, here you go. Bleh. Megatron is awoken by nightmares. What would Megatron have nightmares about? That's a serious question I have now. What would Megatron have nightmares about? Okay, that I have to know. I'm going to have to look that up later. Uh, Hound and Brains tell stories, make themselves... Tell stories about themselves to each other. And Bumblebee receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Okay, so he got his Warhammer back. Uh, proceed. Bumblebee diverts Crosshair's attention and runs away. Oh, that picture actually works really well then in that scenario. Ironhide questions his sanity. Ravage picks flowers. Again, how? Ravage is a giant cat. Hot Rod sees smoke in the distance but decides not to investigate. Soundwave and Ultra Magnus fight Brains and Skids. Soundwave and Ultra Magnus survive. That I can see. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect Brains to come out of any kind of fight. I would expect Brains to just die instantly. Uh, Mudflap constructs a shack. Smart. Megatron sucks an explosive, killing Hound. Oh, there goes Hound. Hound's dead. Did Ratchet already die? I think I think Ratchet already died. Frozen Lake and dies? No, come on. Really? That's B. That's BS right there. Okay, fine. I mean, if that is what the computer gods intend for me. Ravage killing him, I would see that. I would see that very well. Ultra Magnus gathers as much food into a bag as he can before fleeing. Mudflap falls into a frozen lake and drowns. You see, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Why would, why would giant robots drown in a lake? They don't need oxygen. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Bumblebee, Ravage, Mudflap, and Soundwave. Yeah, Bumblebee, come on, dude. You can't just, you can't fall in a lake and die. I mean, that's just, that's not okay. We're here in the final stretch, ladies and gentlemen. It is night five of the Cybertron games. We see that we have our five remaining contestants. We have Megatron, Ultra Magnus, Crosshairs, and Ironhide telling each other ghost stories to keep their spirits up. Will they win the games? Who knows? But then, on the other hand, we have the Lone Wolf Hot Rod, who is thinking about his glorious victory at the end of this battle. Who knows if that victory will be assured? We're on day six now. Megatron makes a slingshot. Crosshairs receives an hatchet. Receives an hatchet. Receives a hatchet from an unknown source. Ultra Magnus picks flowers. Ironhide diverts Hot Rod's attention and runs away. I think it'd be the other way around. Let me see. No cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Okay. Proceed. Let's see. Night six. Hot Rod, Crosshairs, and Megatron cheerfully sing songs together. I'm sorry, what? No. No, 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 no. Ultra Magnus attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful, and Ironhide screams for help. Now, see, that would be Megatron, I would think. That would be Megatron's scenario right there, the one Ironhide's in. Day 7. Ultra Magnus attacks Megatron, but he manages to escape. Hot Rod thinks about home, and Ironhide bashes Crosshair's in with a mace. Yes! Well, Crosshair's head in with a mace. Yes! Go, Ironhide! What's funny is that's how Crosshair's just... That's how Crosshair's started out the fight, and now it's how he's dead. Uh, that's a bit of foreshadowing there. And we see we're down to four competitors. We have Hot Rod climbing a tree to get his beauty rest. We all know that is very important in the midst of a war. We have Ironhide trying to sing himself to sleep. Singing is often a most calming tactic for those involved in very big disputes. And we have the two main powerful leaders, Megatron and Ultra Magnus, sharing a shelter for the night. 
who knows if this alliance will break in the morning. Megatron bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Okay, so Megatron's dead from loss of Energon. Um, I would have thought Ultra Magnus would have killed him. Ultra Magnus explores the arena and Hot Rod picks flowers. See, everyone's doing like leisure activities now. They're all dead, so they're all just doing nothing. There we go. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Megatron. Megatron is down. There we go. Hot Rod attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Ultra Magnus strangles Ironhide with a rope. Okay, so Ironhide's dead. Ironhide just got killed by Ultra Magnus. The final two competitors. We have Ultra Magnus and Hot Rod, the two main candidates for the next prime up in the runnings. Who will be the ones to win? Let us see. Ultra Magnus severely injures Hot Rod and leaves him to die. Well, that was anticlimactic. The winner is Ultra Magnus from District 2, of course. I mean, one of the candidates for a prime, he had to be. And we see in first place, we have Ultra Magnus. He had four kills in this victorious bloodbath. And in close second, we have Hot Rod with one kill from District 1. And in third place, Ironhide from District 8. And then all these other crappers. So Megatron got in 4th place, Crosshairs got 5th, uh, Soundwave 6th, Mudflap 7th, Ravage 8th, um, Bumblebee actually got ninth. That's not what I expected at all. I really didn't expect Brains and Wheelie to get as far as they did. Early. Ratchet died really early. Ratchet got 19th place, Drift got 20th, and then Shockwave, Scorponok, and Quintessa in the Fallen died immediately. Alright, so... That's the runnings for this Hunger Games. Uh, you can actually make a bunch of different scenarios on this, I think. And then we get to see a summary. I want to see where Ratchet died. Where did Ratchet... Oh, right. Wheelie set off the explosion. I forgot about that. Okay, what happens after this? Oh, go away. Let's see. Placements. District placements. District 2 came in first. District 1 came in second. District 3 came in eight. District 4 came in ninth. District 7 came in 5th, District 6, District 4, District 11, District 3, District 12, District 10, and District 5. So, let's see who didn't have any kills. Bumblebee didn't have any kills. Um, Brains didn't have any kills. I don't think the Fallen had any kills. No, he didn't. Quintessa had no kills. Ratchet had no kills. Crosshairs actually had 4 kills, so he was tied with Ultra Magnus. Um, Soundwave actually did get two kills. Um, uh, Mudflap, he didn't get any kills. Skids got no kills. Ravage actually didn't get any kills either, which surprises me. Alright. Um, but yeah, so that is this Hunger Games website. I don't really know what it actually is called, but I know the name of the website is Brain Steel. Um, so yeah, that was basically this game, and that was actually really fun. And the reason I like this game so much is because... It's always fun to see how these kinds of things would play out. Just to see, like, if a random scenario were to go down, this is how it would go down. And this is really cool, and it changes every time. If you click, if you click go back to the reaping, you can replay the season, and you'll get the same result. But if you click simulate again, you'll get a different answer. And it's really cool to see what kind of outcomes you get. Because it could be, like, the complete underdog of your series, or someone who always dies, would end up actually winning. So you could put anything in here. You could put in Disney villains, you could put in Disney characters, you could put in old TV show characters, like from Bakugan or Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, actually, no, Ed, Ed, and Eddie doesn't have enough characters, because you gotta have 24 characters. But, as long as you got something with 24 characters, you can put them all in this, and you could have a new Hunger Games. You could have a Jedi Hunger Games. Ooh, that actually sounds fun, maybe I should do that. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to see what you want to do or to see if you want to go and play it off for yourself. Um, it's fairly simple to how you have to play this. Basically, it gives you... I'll actually show you guys to see if I can get it to show up. Yeah, so basically, what you have here is you've got a bunch of things. you got a bunch of setups for characters. And this basically is just the lineup of all your characters, and it sets them up for how they are. Um, but when you want to make your own, you kind of go into personal... And you see, you can kind of just enter in names of your characters, and then you type in this here, and you can put in little images for what you want to actually have for your character's images. But you can't use stuff with Vinget as the, as the link URL. If you use Vinget, it doesn't work. So I would use, like, 
wiki things or stuff like that or something from like an official site. Just something that'll work. But this game is actually really fun. Um, why is everything set to female? I don't know. Everything's set to female for some reason. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to go test it out for yourself. It is actually really fun. If you do want something to just kind of spend a little bit of time on, I would suggest trying this out because it is actually very fun. And if you guys did like this video, you can slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.